All right, so here we are at the final lesson in this VTM. What we're going to do is take a look at how we can go about plotting animation and then sending it back over to the package of our choice. In this particular case, we're going to use 3ds Max, kind of balancing everything out at the beginning of this VTM. We showed you how to go about using both 3ds Max and Maya in regards to creating rather the morpher modifier or blend shapes. And then we took a little look at Maya in the cluster section. Now to balance things out, we're just going to go back to 3ds Max in regards to import the animation back in, but the same thing is going to apply over in Maya as well. Absolutely. So uh, just to go and point out real quick, the model that you're looking at in the scene right now is the exact same thing we did in the last lesson, except this time we used a file from 3ds Max so that we could accommodate that Morpher modifier. Right. This is not actually the same file that we used in the last lesson because that was done with a file from Maya using blend shapes. We've redone it now, doing the exact same thing we did before, using the Morpher modifier with a file from Max. Okay, so let's see how we can go about getting this voice device out of there so that we just have animation left behind, nothing else driving it, if you will, just keyframe animation so that we can then send it back over to Max. Okay. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is activate recording in my voice device. Now, as far as Motion Builder is concerned, the voice device itself is a lot like a motion capture device. So let's go ahead and enable recording so that we can record data from it. And I'm going to rewind my animation. It's already rewound, but just as a rule of thumb, I always make sure I'm at the beginning of my animation. We'll click the record button, and we'll get a little warning that says, we're about to overwrite the current take, so whatever animation we had is about to be overwritten. Sure, go ahead and overwrite it. It also gives you an option to create a new take, which we don't want to do. So we'll overwrite, and I'm going to hit play and go all the way through the voice bit that we just uh, imported into our scene. So here we go. Welcome to 3D Buzz. This is an example of facial animation with Kadara's Motion Builder. Okay, so now we actually have that recording, if you will, that uh, motion capture from our voice device recorded into our actor face. So now let's go ahead and we'll deactivate recording. We'll also deactivate live because actually while this device is live, it is driving our actor face. Well, now that it's recorded, we don't need that anymore. So let's go ahead and switch that off. Now I'm going to go into my actor face. And really, if you've been keyframing your animation, here's how you're going to be plotting th uh, that out. It's going to be the exact same way. You'll go into your actor face and just click Plot Animation. Motion Builder will think for a second, and really all the animation you've just done will be plotted now down into your character face. So from here, just real quick, I'm going to jump over to my Relations Constraint, and we'll deactivate that because we don't really need it anymore. Then we'll go to our character face and we will plot the animation out of that. Now that's actually going to plot the animation right into our model. So now the animation that we just created is actually inside of our model and we can prove that by going through and let's just delete some stuff out for fun. Let's get rid of our voice device. We don't need it. We'll take care of our relations constraint. We'll delete it out. Take our actor face out. We'll delete it. And goodbye to the character face as well. And let's just go ahead and hit rewind and hit play one more time. Now, if everything was plotted, our character should still talk when we do this. Welcome to 3D Buzz. This is an example of facial animation with Kadara's Motion Builder. And there's really no change. So that's because all the animation that we created in our voice device, we sent into the actor face, into the character face, then plotted right to the model, and now we're pretty much set to go. So let's go ahead and save this. Actually, let me go to Save As so I don't overwrite that file. And we'll change this from Face Animated to Face Plotted. That makes sense. Yeah, we can just go ahead and Alt-Tab on over to 3ds Max. There we go. Okay. And here we actually have the file open with the... The morph target's already established. We've gone ahead and deleted out the morph uh, shapes. But, of course, if you go in there and hit play, there's no animation. Right. We can go ahead and hit play and prove that. Nothing going on right now. Very boring looking. And we'll go under File, and we'll Import. And, lo and behold, there's Face Plotted. And we want to bring in Geometries and the Shape or Morph Modifier. And I'll go ahead and click OK. And it'll think. And we'll rewind and hit play. Yay! Now, we don't hear any sound because we haven't actually imported that audio into Max, but that's really no big deal. Won't worry about that right now. 
Let me go ahead and set my frames up to 270 so we can actually see this whole animation. Actually, to be honest with you, we won't worry about that at all. Yeah, why? Yeah. We have got the animation from Motion Builder back over to 3DS Max, and that's all we were looking to do. All right. Simple enough. Absolutely. So, basically, this is going to wrap up the VTM. It's been a, it is. It's been a little bit longer of a process than I expect. I figured this VTM would fly by pretty quick, but I guess we have a way of just kind of going on and on. There's just so much cool stuff for us to show inside of Motion Builder. Absolutely. And so it's not our fault. It's just because Motion Builder is such a cool application. We could put some audio in here and be like, Welcome to 3D Buzz. This is an example. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was worth a shot. That wasn't good. That ah, sucked. Oh, well. But, uh, but anyway, so you guys saw the entire process mm -hmm. from the very beginning where we went up and set things inside of Maya with blend shapes or set things up inside of 3DS Max with the Morpher modifier, then brought that over into... Motion Builder. Motion Builder. And then in there, we set up the character face, the actor face, got everything rigged up, showed you how we could go about doing some animation by keyframe. We also showed you how to do the cluster stuff. And then finally, we showed you how to use the voice device as well. And then here we are bringing it all back over into your favorite 3D package. Well, you know, or a 3D package, whatever 3D package you just happen to be we're not working necessarily, with. We're not saying that Max is our favorite. We love them all. Mm -hmm. So uh, so anyways, with that, we've kind of completed the circle, if you will. And that's going to bring us to the end. Yep. So I'd like to thank everyone out there for listening to us. Absolutely. Putting up with us. Of course, we have to keep the little bit of banter going because, well, with as many VTMs as we put out at 3D Buzz, it's the only way we stay sane. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Otherwise, we would just die. Well, I mean, I've watched so many training videos where it's just one person going, and now I'm going to do this. And okay, I'm you're putting me to sleep. Yeah, and so, you know, I, I like that we keep things a little upbeat and kind of joke around with each other. Yeah, it keeps things somewhat entertaining, if you will. Mm -hmm. Also, a very special thank you to Kadara. Oh, yeah. Sponsorship that they provide, 3D Buzz, helps us not only in producing these VTMs, but getting them shipped out to thousands of people and to support the servers for those out there that like to download this. So let's always make sure to thank Kadara. And before we go, I know we already hit it in the intro, but I want to give one last thanks out to Joe Clark for letting us use his head, and I want to apologize for butchering <laughs> it so badly. Oh. Uh, so would he like if you watch this video, Joe, please don't send me too much hate mail for how this looks. Uh, it was great. <laughs> well, everybody, again, one more time, thank you very much, and we'll see you soon in the next Motion Builder VTM. So long.